Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix right client if it's not opening or launching. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, make sure that you have disabled your VPNs and proxies. Okay. So once you have it disabled, go ahead and go to your search bar and type in system updates. Okay. Click on this system setting. Wait for the uh, window to pop up and go ahead and click on check for updates. Okay. If you do have available updates, just go ahead and click on download and install. Wait for it to finish and once done, it will restart your computer. If it doesn't restart automatically, just go ahead and restart it yourself. Okay. And once that's done, go ahead and launch the right client and check if it helps. Now, if that will work, go ahead and open up your search bar and type in CMD. Go to the right side and click on run as administrator. That will be a pop up. Just click on yes. And in here, just go ahead and type in ipconfig space for slash flush TNS, hit enter, IP config space for slash release, hit enter, IP config space for slash renew, hit enter and wait for the process to finish. After that, go ahead and type in net sh space winsock space reset, okay, hit enter, then type in net sh space int space IP space reset. Hit enter and you're good to go. You gotta go ahead and close this window and go ahead and restart your computer once more and check right client. Now if that's gonna work, let's just go ahead and try to change our DNS. And here, go to the search bar once more, type in control panel, like so, and to open up the control panel. And here, just go ahead and look for network and sharing center, okay? If your UI right here is different, go ahead and click on this uh, drop down and make sure that you're under large icons and you'll be able to see Network and Share Center. So just click on it, and in here in the top left, click on Change Adapter Settings. Click. Now double click on the network that you're currently using. Double click, and once done, click on Properties. Now go ahead and find TCP IPv4. Click on it and make sure that it is highlighted, and then just click on Properties. And here, click on Obtain an IP address automatically. Make sure that it is set to this one, and below that, try to use the following DNS server addresses. Make sure that it is selected as well. Okay. Now go ahead and use 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. Okay. This one is from Google. This is a Google DNS. Okay. Once that's done, just hit on apply, hit on OK, close everything right here, and then go ahead and try to launch right client and check if it helps. If that won't work, go ahead and open up the same set of settings again. Okay, now go ahead and change this to 1.1.1.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.